to my channel. Today's video is going to be my weekly check-in for the third week of October. If you're brand new to this channel or if you've just found it here on YouTube, welcome. I'd love for you to join us here and hit that big red subscribe button so you can be notified of my future videos. My name is Caitlin and I do budgeting videos, um, planning videos, debt journey videos, and organisation videos, all things like that. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified and hit the like button on this video. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump straight on in to this video for checking in for week three, which is going to be from the 15th until the 21st. Before I get started though, I am going to admit that I'm currently sitting in my pyjamas filming this video and I am obsessed because, I hope you can see this, they are stitch pyjamas and they're nice and soft and fleecy. These are from Primark, so if you love stitch and Disney, head over to there and grab them. But you may see his face pop in the shot um, as I use them just because it is really cold in my house right now. So I've got my fluffy pyjamas on. But let's get on to actually what we're here for. So I have all of my expenses here laid out. If you've seen my previous video you will know that usually, as you can see by my key, purple is for food but I run out of purple stickers so I'm using up my pink ones. I think for 2022 I'm going to completely revamp this and pick all different colours so I'm trying to just use up what I have left. But I do have all my expenses and I have ones for household, ones for eating out and some for Food. So let's pop all of them down first. Like I said, it would be from the 15th until the 21st, the Friday until the Thursday. So let's start with um, household. We did actually go away on the Sunday and pick up some household bits. So we picked up things for Christmas and then we also picked up some bits for the house that we'd run out of and some storage containers. I'm trying to now go round about my house and organise it and not very, not as well decorate it, but just organise it, if that makes sense. We also went to Home Bargains on the Saturday as well. I went with my mum and my nana and I picked up some things then too, so I popped that there. Next, let's look at eating out. This was on the... Sunday and we did go to Domino's. We have not had a Domino's in forever so it was really nice to get that. HelloFresh comes out on a Tuesday. That is when Thomas picks it. He picks all of his meals. Next we have Aldi and we didn't spend as much as we typically have been spending in Aldi this week. So that came out to 35.92. We also, while we were in Home Bargains, I just like to split up my expenses. We spent £9.50 on food items. And last but not least, on Monday we actually went a little trip to Asda because we noticed that we had forgot some things, um, like Thomas's fruit juice and things, so that was £22.04. Now, before I flip you over to the weekly check-in page and let's pop down our no spendies for this week just so we can see so we had one on the friday which is not typical of us usually we do spend something on the friday we had one on the monday on the wednesday and finally we had one on the thursday so we had one, two, three, four no spendies that week, which is pretty good. And I can also tick off the bills that were in that week. So Thomas's rubby payment did get paid and our boiler as well. Perfect. So let's flip to our weekly check-in page and let me zoom you right in so that you can see. And we'll pop down our categories. So our categories, as always, are... Petrol, food, household, eating out,
and unbudged it. Perfect, so to start off with, let's look at petrol. So we spent nothing for petrol this week, which is great. Last week we had a total remaining of £50.22. And this week I'm going to do the remaining per week a little bit differently and I will explain why. So even though I technically only have... Um, one week left. I actually have two weekends, if that makes sense, just because Halloween falls on the Sunday. So I'm going to count it as two. I'm going to divide everything by two this week because I know that I have two weekends and usually that is when I spend most of my money. So I'm going to grab my calculator over here. <laughs> so £50, 22 pence divided by the two weekends we have left leaves £25 and £11 remaining. I'm hoping that during this week we can put petrol in our car and that will do us until the start of November. That is my hope. So that is that. Next let's move on to food. So our first two food expenses are here. So we have home bargains for £9.50. We have Aldi for $35.92 and then if we flip over we have oh down here we have Asda for $22.04 and we have HelloFresh for $34.99. So we are quite a bit over this week. So in total, we spent £102.45 last week. We had a total remaining of £243.53. So if we do some math, 243.53 minus 102.45, that leaves us £141.08. And if we divide that by the two weekends we have left, that is £70 and 54 pence. I do imagine we will still be over on food, but I think we are getting much better, hopefully. Um, next, let's look at household. So for household, first up we have home bargains for £10. So that's everything on this side. So then we can just focus on this side. We have the range for 32.62. And we have home bargains for £23.10. So all together for household we spent £65.72. We did spend quite a lot this week, but that was mainly because we bought that bulk of Christmas decorations. So 65 72 and as you can see last week we had 110 pounds left so if we do 110 minus 65 72 that leaves us with 44 pounds 28 pence divided by our two weeks that is 22 pounds 14 pence for each week which is not too bad Next we have eating out, so we only have one eating out expense which is really good and that is Domino's for $19.99, that is quite a bit less than what we have been spending the past two weeks, so only $19.99 which is good that we were able to bring um, our eating out budget down, so last week we had 96 92 minus the 19.99 and that leaves us with 78, 76, sorry, 93 divided by the two weekends is 38.47 which is just less than what I budget. I budget £40 per week 
which is still quite good. Even if we're over, I don't think we will be over by much next week. And finally, last but not least, we have unbudgeted. We have no unbudgeted this week, which is good. That's what I like to see. But last week, of course, we did have Thomas's PlayStation, which I forgot to put into our budget. I have it all set ready for November. So I can still pop that minus nine pounds there. And that is everything for this week. So let's zoom you back out a little bit. So this is how our weekly check-in is looking. I think we are doing pretty well on petrol, food. We're still um, over sometimes. We were really close in week two, but week one and week three, we were quite a bit over. So we need to try and sort that out. But for the rest of them, we're doing pretty well. But that is everything for this weekly check-in. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below how the end of your October is looking. I only have two more weekends, but it's one week um, that I have left to check in for. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a magical day, guys. Bye.